So you want a really fast car in Green Bull? Um, I can't buy you a car, but I can talk about them if you want to. And today we're gonna go over the fastest cars in Green Bull, and we're gonna start out from 200 miles per hour and work our way up. The first car on our list is a British car brand. We have the McLaren 12C or the MP4. This thing goes 200 miles per hour, and I really like the MP4. I the design is beautiful. 201 miles per hour. We have the normal 458 Ferrari 458. And this is not the last time you hear about Ferrari. 202 miles per hour. I told you guys, it's a Ferrari. We have a Ferrari FF. 203 miles per hour, we have the Audi R8. I really like the Audi R8, beautiful looks. And this is not, this is the, what, what's it called? The new R8, 2018, 2021s. Yeah, them. 204 miles per hour, we have the Carrera GT. Also, sorry if you're the background noise. I think my um, neighbors are moving house for the 85th time. Um, 205 miles per hour, we have the 992-911 Turbo S. Huge name, uh, but it goes 250 miles per hour. Not 250, 205 miles per hour, and it's pretty cool. 206 miles per hour, we have another British band. Not a, niche, not a band, a brand. There we go. I need to learn English. Jeez. We have the McLaren GT, 207 miles per hour, another British brand. We have the Aston Mountain DB11 V12 version. Next up, 208 miles per hour. We have the 911, 991 Turbo OS. It's the older generation of the um, 911. We have nothing for 209 miles per hour, but for 210 miles per hour, we have the Dodge Daytona, which was a limited for 600K. And I'm surprised it wasn't like a million or 1.2 million. We have nothing for 211 miles per hour, but we have something for 212 miles per hour. We have the Ford GT. This is the old Ford GT from 06, which is just beautiful. We have nothing until 200 and no, never mind. We have something at 214 miles per hour, which is the McLaren 688 HS. Uh, there's only like 25 in the world, so they're pretty rare. I mean, he, my friend Keen told me that, so shout out to him. We have a car at 217 miles per hour. This is a 12 seat Toxic Evo in game. I really like it. It's the McLaren 12 seat Evo, and it's pretty cool. We have nothing until 222 miles per hour. We have the Ferrari F40 LM, which is a Le Mans, and it's pretty sick. Next up on our list, we have 227 miles per hour. We have the Ford GT, the 2017 one. I, I like, really like this car. Beautiful design. The EcoBoost V6 is also sick. 229 miles per hour for a Z Tune, which is insane. Um, it's the R34 Z Tune. Next up, we have 240 miles per hour by the Zonda and the normal Zonda F which is, I li love the Zonda F, the wheels are so good, and pretty much everyone loves the Zonda F in real life or in game. Now we're in the 250 miles per hour section. This is where speed, you know, speeds get pretty insane. Starting off the list, we have a 253 miles per hour speed tail. Next up at 258, we have the Koenigsegg Regera, and we have the Jamera, or the, I like to say Gamera, I'm pretty sure that's how they spell it in Swedish and that's how we say it in German. So it's, I'm pretty sure it's Gamera. Uh, at 262 miles per hour, we have the base model Tesla Roadster, which um, is not, I'm not a huge fan of it. I used to own it. Next up, we have the NVNA supercar, which is really slow in acceleration, but has a sick top speed at 313 miles per hour, and it only cost 1.9 mil, but I really don't like the looks of it, it looks like my tooth. In last, not in last place, in first place, 350 miles per hour, a lot of horsepower, rockets installed, we have the $5 million, yes, $5 million Tesla Roadster, and goes 350 miles per hour. And now I'm really hungry. I'm gonna go eat like five steaks. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go eat a fat steak and have a good night or a good morning or a good day. I don't know.